Just finished up my Sunday walk. That was my walk. I'd thought about going to 3.8, but um, I think I'm going to go eat now. I thought I would do the 3.8 so I could do like last weekend and do a full 10 miles for the weekend, but it's okay because my legs are tired. I, um, I think doing that, running that full 60 minutes yesterday wore them out. And I was a little later today getting to my run than I usually am on, or getting to my walk, than I usually am on Sunday because I did end up going to Chattanooga with Lindsay to find me some new running shoes. And I wanted to start like breaking some in and maybe trying some to see if they were maybe better on my feet. I mean, not that I have a huge issue with my running shoes, but if I'm going to go super long distance, like marathon distance, it's worth the investment to get something that might be a little bit better on my feet. Not like I said, not that the ones I get are bad, but um, if you're just doing like 5k and stuff, it's not that big of a deal. But when you're going, you know, 13, 16, 18, 20 miles, it can make a big difference in what you're wearing on your feet. So Anyway, I am going to go eat my supper now. I'll try to remember to show you my shoes. I may not get them out of the box tonight, but um, I thought I might try them tomorrow when I run. Just see. Um, if not, I'll try. I'll show them to you when I do get them out. I know it's dark and it's hard to see, but I asked if he was ready to get up and go potty, and this is what I got. That's my leg right there and right there, and he's laying smack dab in the middle of them. We can't go out if you're laying on my legs. You want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Huh? Let's go. Hey everybody, so just out here finishing up my Monday run. I did pretty good. Um, I felt like I did pretty good. I tried out my new shoes. I don't know, those are my new shoes. And I think I like them. Uh, definitely have to break them in a little bit, of course, but they're really super light. So I feel like I did really well. Um, I also tried out a new little clip thing that I have for my GoPro. I don't know if I will throw in any of that footage because I don't know how it's going to turn out yet because this is the first time I've used it. I ordered it because I wanted something that I could snap onto my running belt but still kind of use as with like a handle type thing because I have a handle tripod thing but if I use it in a race then I've got to carry it and I don't want to do that. So this one actually clips onto my belt and I could put it on the front of my belt and get some running footage if I wanted to. So I don't know, it may be too bouncy. I know this GoPro does have some image stabilization, but I don't know if it will be too much with me running and my running belt on top of that. So um, we'll see, I don't know. Uh, but like I said, I just wanted to try it out. So anyway, I am just finishing up. I think I, with my walk and everything, I'm up to about 40, 45 minutes now. And I'm going to go get Atlas and take him out in a few minutes. So I have just finished my Wednesday run and it is yet again another early morning run. So yeah, I, um, I decided that I would try to do it all at um, one tenth of a mile per hour faster than I had been doing it because the last two weekends I have done the same pace on the Saturday run that I had been doing my 30 minute runs at. And I figured if I could do a full 60 minutes at that pace, then surely I could do 30 at just a smidgen faster. So I did it one tenth of a mile faster until like the last three or four minutes. And then I started just like upping it by a tenth of a mile per hour until I finished the last minute at 6.2 miles an hour. Um, and it's kind of funny because I used to run on the treadmill always at at least six miles an hour, sometimes a little bit faster depending on how I felt, but always at six miles per hour. But I haven't really been able to do that very well since I had my stroke. It just feels like, it just it feels super, super fast. And um, I'd like to get back to where I could do that. I mean, 
I know I've said in videos before that pace and stuff isn't a huge issue for me. The main thing is that I do it. Um, but at the same time, um, it is a little discouraging when I used to be at a specific pace and I can't. And of course, I'm getting older. I am uh, a little bit heavier <laughs> than I used to be. But um, still, I would like to get back to kind of where I was. But like I said, not a huge deal one way or the other, but I am going to try to start pushing myself, I think, just a little bit more to see what I can do. But anyway, I have got to go take him to get his breakfast. I'm surprised he's not over here looking at my legs because he normally is, and yes, that is still a ho-ho-ho on my wall that I need to take down. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get his breakfast ready for him and take a shower and get ready for my morning things. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey, she's back. Hadn't seen her and didn't see her yesterday, but she's here today, hopping around, doing her thing. Pecking on the window. She's back at lunchtime too. I really think she thinks she lives here. Honey, I take my Jeep home every day. You don't live here. I know that winter is not over yet, officially or weather-wise. However, I will say that it's nice to be March 2nd with part of the roof off of the Jeep. I didn't take the time to take them both off just because I was ready to leave and get home. But I took one of them off. So it's 76 degrees outside and I am enjoying the sunshine and the warmth. Day two of driving with the top off. I took both of them off today though. So I could drive completely. Well, I mean, obviously not the back part, but completely without the front part on. Um, I took them off at lunch. Part of it is too, is like, I hate my, uh, air conditioner heater slice, stuff. Like I can go very quickly from hot to cold, but not very quickly from cold to hot. So it drives me crazy having to push those buttons. So I figured it was easier to take the top off than to finagle with that. This doesn't happen very often. I can't remember, but I don't think I saw her yesterday. I'd have to go back and look at my videos if she was out here yesterday morning. I don't remember her being out here yesterday morning. But, heard her pecking again this morning. There she is, just hanging out. gonna be sore yep <laughs> I don't know why <gasps> well we're up to 10 and a quarter miles so and she was only gonna do eight so if you Whoops. don't have a friend that will run 10 miles with you you need to find you one right there <laughs> that, 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 that's the kind of friend you need when you say, do you want to run 16 miles with me tomorrow? They say when and where. That's what I'm, I'm not doing 16 though. <laughs> she didn't do 16 yet, but she's going to get there. But she has to stop now because she has children that have to go places. So yep. 
but we did do a little over 10 miles. Yay. I'm gonna finish my 16, but she has to go, so bye. <laughs> I am 14.7 miles up on my run. I really hope this is not super windy. So I'm almost done. Um, meant to do a little more videoing of myself, but the greenway has been kind of crowded today. So um, plus I was enjoying my conversation with Amanda. I am thankful that I had company and then I talked to Aaron for about four miles, I guess it was. Um, close to four miles anyway. Uh, so by the time I make it back to my car, I will be close to my 16 mile goal. It probably won't be exactly 16 miles, but I may go ahead and stop at that point because I will be above what I did the last long run. And I am starting to get hungry and my feet are really hurting. I have walked um, pretty much all of the last I would guess mile and I don't plan on running anymore because my feet are hurting. I'd almost be willing to bet there's a bruise on one of my toes now too. So um, maybe under my toenail, just because just what I need to lose one more toenail when I've got three growing back. But anyway, um, yeah, almost done. It's a very long way. It's very hard. I'm not really looking forward to the fact that I have to drive home when normally I <laughs> am just on my treadmill, but I also didn't want to. I, I wanted somewhere a little bit different scenery as well, and it was a beautiful day, so I definitely didn't want to do it on the treadmill. So yeah, let me get back and finish up getting to my car because I have to get to my car now. So I am now almost done. I have circled back around past my car and I've came a little bit back past my car again because I've got two tenths of a mile to get to 16. My left foot, actually both of my feet, but my left foot especially, really hurting. I thought about stopping because when I passed my Jeep just then, I was like a quarter of a mile from 16, like it was like 15.75. So I thought about stopping, but I was like, I would regret it if I got that close to 16 and didn't finish even being tired and sore so i'm going to finish it up um definitely slow down these last few miles since i was walking and even like my walking pace has drastically slowed but get it done that's the important thing so yeah i'm almost done i'm going to head home and grab me something to eat too because i am getting hungry as well so um I really just don't want to drive home, <laughs> but I got to. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. See, that's what happens when you act like a crazy person. You get all out of breath. Quit acting like a crazy person. Good. I guess that kind of did remind me to do my outro for the week. So, um, here I am. I uh, did get a little bit of sun on my run today. Not too bad, but um, doesn't take much. I'm always pale, but it doesn't take much when you have pale Tennessee winter skin. Wearing long sleeve shirts and pants all the time. Yep, that's what happens. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys have had a great week and I will talk to you all next week. Life short. Enjoy the run. Bye.